Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is episode 2 of Quick Tip Tuesdays. Now, because you wanted me to make a video on how to control while shopping this week, so here I am. Now, if you are new to my channel, then I make a video on every Tuesday on which I'll be talking about all the concerns you might have raised over Instagram. This is my Instagram handle. So if you have any such concerns, feel free to message me. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Now, if you are someone who like decides to buy one or two items before going for shopping, but then end up spending the last penny you have, then this video is definitely for you guys. Also, stay tuned till the end because I'll be sharing a secret of mine which you'll not find on any other YouTube channel. So now without wasting any time, let's start the video. So tip number one which is very basic, very common but yet we never do that and that is to actually make a list of all the things we want and then be restricted to only those and also don't go in other departments because if you won't go in other department you are more likely not to like anything and then not to buy anything so uh, be restricted to your list then tip number two now once you have made your list make your budget accordingly like for example you have to buy 10 items and every item is approximately 500 rupees each then your budget will be 5000 right so now the trick here is to keep a room for one more item which means you increase your budget to 5500 now why to do that suppose you got the 10 things which were in your budget and then while leaving you find a dress which is very attractive and you cannot resist to buy that then obviously you'll break your rule and go and buy that item right but then because once you have already broken your rule then you won't hesitate in doing for the doing it for the next time so at the end you might uh, buy two to three items which are not in your list so instead if you raise your budget to one more item then the first piece you will which you will buy with, that will be in your budget and if you'll uh, like anything else than that then you can obviously convince your mind that okay yaar, i've already got one thing which was not in my list and then why to break my rule and such way you can convince your mind to buy only one more item so it's obviously better to keep a little bit of extra budget for one item than to make it very strict which you can't even follow then tip number three now tip number three is uh, to before investing in anything before buying anything make sure to calculate its cost per use like for example you like a bag which is of 1000 rupees and also you like a bag which is of 2000 okay so what you will think here is that okay because 1000 is less lesser amount let me buy this but then you end up using it only twice so its cost per use will be 500 rupees per use instead you if you buy a bag which is 2000 rupees but then use it for 10 times then its cost per use will be 200 rupees per use so it's obviously better to invest according to its cost per use instead of its actual mrp now tip number four tip number four is to think before you buy anything which means suppose you are a nine to five professional then obviously you're gonna need more of a formal wear because you have to use it from monday to friday and casual year wear you will wear only on saturday and sunday whereas if you are a freelancer or someone who works from home then you will need more of a casual wear than that of the formal wear so before buying anything just think how often you are going to use that then tip number five now tip number five is to invest in pieces which you can mix and match like for example buying a kurti dress now a kurti dress you can pair it with a legging or a straight pant and use it in your office as a formal wear then the same dress with a belt on it or with some funky uh, funky accessories you can use for a casual day out so always invest in pieces which will give you multiple usage rather than restricting to a single occasion now tip number six is to stick to your already existing wardrobe now by that i mean suppose you got a skirt and then you'll come home and then you'll realize that you do not own anything matching to go with that skirt so you'll have to invest in a top to go with that Similarly, suppose you got a dress and then you'll come home and then you realize that you do not have any accessory to go with that. 
so instead if you'll stick to the color palette color theme of your wardrobe then you will not you will have to invest in only that one skirt or that one dress and rest all the pieces will be already available in your wardrobe now my last tip that is my secret tip now what i do is uh, suppose i'm in a mall and i like a dress suddenly then i'll try to look for all its flaws like suppose it is in color black then i'll think okay i already own a two or three color black color dresses suppose it has got ruffles then i'll think are you already own a ruffle dress then uh, similarly i'll try to look for all its flaws then what will happen is my mind will think that okay this is not something new this is something which i already own and then suddenly it will not be that much attractive as it was earlier and then i can easily reject it this always works try to do it and let me know in the comment section below if it worked for you as well so that's it this was about today's video i hope you like the video if so then please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for all such videos and do message me on instagram for all your concerns i'll be more than happy to help you guys So that's it see you on next Tuesday till then bye bye